A couple of weeks ago, we introduced you to a boardman dentist who's finding local restaurants to feed employees at hospitals. It's his way of saying thank you during the COVID-19 crisis. As he continues the mission, reporter Chandler Blackman found a local chef who wanted to help as well. Here's our first news follow-up. The team here at Bogey's Bar and Grill are preparing these meals for local health care workers battling the coronavirus pandemic. Owner Melvin McKee wanted to help Dr. Rajiv Tanasia in his mission to give back to the medical community. I, I saw that Dr. Uh, Tanasia had been uh, worked with some other restaurants locally to donate some food to people on the front lines or healthcare workers on the front lines and I felt opted to help. Dr. Tanasia described McKee's help as an act of humbleness. When I came and met him on Sunday, he wanted to do all these meals for free. So we're doing these meals here on Wednesday. Uh, he's gracious enough to give it to me today to take it to Trumbull and St. Joe's. Bogey's Bar and Grill is no stranger to giving back to the community. But since COVID-19, they felt even more obligated. Uh, it, it's a pandemic. I mean, there's, there's no time like the present, obviously. I mean, we've always, you know, contributed to local charities and done a lot with the kids in the schools. But I mean, this is, you know, a, a completely whole nother level. McKee says he finds purpose to give back despite the tough business situation. The business is struggling right now. We're down about 75 percent, only being able to do carry out. You know, we had to lay off 40, close to 40 employees. And, you know, I, I guess we just wake up every day and try to be better and, you know, get better and uh, give back. McGee says everyone can find something that they have or are good at doing to help others during this crisis. My skilled trade is, you know, obviously cooking and being a chef. And I feel like, you know, I can use my skills and talent, you know, to give back the only way I know how. In Lowville, Chandler Blackman, WKBN 27 First News.